Welcome everyone to this 2K Sports broadcast live in Los Angeles at the Staples Center. This is Kevin Harlan. We've got Chris Weber and Greg Anthony with us. And from the sideline, we'll be hearing from David Aldridge. With that road trip behind them, the Lakers ready to perform in front of their Los Angeles fans. Guys, when you compare their performance last season to where they sit right now, not a whole lot different story. Not necessarily a big surprise either. And I think for the Lakers, hanging where they are, right in the middle of the standings, will not make things easy for them down the stretch. Give them credit. they got some really good pieces in place. The road ahead is it's going to be tough, of course, but I think they're in better shape than a lot of other teams. You know, Chris, it's early, of course, but a few veteran nice players game, huh? seeing dips in their individual production. And there has been some talk. There has been some concern about that. Yeah, but even for veterans, it could take a while to get into a groove. It's the beginning of the season. You still have to find your way, new teammates, new concepts. And if a player's role on the team has changed, that can affect his production. I mean, look at a guy like Melo last year. Going to a different situation. Do you sacrifice by shooting less? Do you sacrifice by shooting more? Because uh, some guys are out of position, out of sorts, and out of their comfortable areas or their comfortable uh, norms of playing. So, yeah, it takes a lot. Whether you're a rookie or a veteran, it, it really doesn't matter. This game can throw monkey wrenches at you in all type of areas, and it's how you adjust. So it's not about the start. It's how you identify what you need to do to get better and then do it and then see how that adjustment is going. Yeah, Anthony's a good example here, right? Here are the five for the Raptors. Kyle Lowry and Danny Green are the guard tandem. Then there's Jonas Valanciunas. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. And it's Siakam in at the four-man position. And the Raptors with the ball following the bucket by the Lakers. Leonard against James. Five on the clock. Lowry from outside buries the long-range jumper. Lowry's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Leonard against LeBron. Hangs, and that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. Last season, C. Webb, the Lakers made an effort to play with a high pace in their game. Well, this is the direction the team wants to strive towards. I mean, second in the league last season in pace of play. The players and the front office all want to get back to that Showtime era Lakers style of play. Fades and shoots. He gets that one. James has got his first bucket of the night. LeBron taking what's offered from mid-range throughout his career. He's all about the best shot of him. Feeds it to Valanciunas. That falls. Nice feed that time from Kyle Lowry. Yeah, good awareness there. He sees an opening and doesn't hesitate. Well, that opening right there, that's just because the defense failed to rotate. McGee tipped away. Lowry against Ball from deep green. It's hauled in by LeBron. And so James will bring it up for Los Angeles. Fresh from a win against Portland. And I love the fact that they did such a good job of really reacting to what the defense was giving them. Yeah, all about IQ. You're right. They made smart in-game adjustments. I mean, they seemed a step ahead all night. Lowry kicks to Leonard. Over LeBron. And Leonard gets it to go on the assist by Lowry. Leonard's got his first points of the game. Yeah, and for mid-range, Leonard's jump shot is money. It doesn't matter if it's off the dribble or catch and shoot. He, he never loses his touch. A good close contest so far. As we And let's listen to Pascal Siakam talking about the work ethic of his teammates. You come in every day. Guys in the gym every single day. So... I used to think that I was always the hardest worker, but, you know, just coming to see guys, the, the amount of work that they put in, trying to get better each and every day. And, Greg, when everyone is working hard, it builds a chemistry. And a culture. Kevin, winning teams all have it. It's not enough to be here. You want to win. 
And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And taking a look at the Lakers' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing in the game? Well, already in the first period, they found ways to get this offense ramped up. Oh, yeah, small lead so far, but it's building fast. And they better watch out. So on the floor for Toronto to start this second quarter. Van Vliet and Green are the guard set. Ananobi out there with Ibaka. And it's Leonard in at the small four. You know, and Serge Ibaka, a player who kind of came into the league as a defensive stopper, shot block. You know, still has great length and can bother shots, but not the prolific shot blocker he once was as the focus has become more on the offensive end. Uh, what about the incredible ball control of James right there? A true point forward who handles the ball well. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, guys, Kyle Lowry is a player who has worked his way to stardom. He says, I still feel like I can be better. I'm never satisfied. My team is good, but I think the best I can be is a champion. There is no other goal in basketball. Guys? D.A., that's how you truly create a legacy. And with Ibaka, at one point, would average almost four blocks a game. Yeah, I mean, it, it is hard for any player to maintain a pace that high at this stage. Ibaka's done well to adjust, I think, his capabilities and make sure he can still have an impact on defense. The, the block numbers won't ever be as gaudy as they once were, but he is still causing problems for shooters. Oh, you got to love the intelligence of James. He understands the game like few others. I mean, spots the open man with ease. Right wing. Leonard against James. Pulls up on the wing. Leonard with the bucket. Leonard's got the lead up to two now for the Raptors. That's his mindset. Attack, attack, attack whenever possible. Now, here's Ball. Tight defense on him. Six to shoot. Here's McGee. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. McGee's got four points now in the quarter. Oh, look at that awareness of Ball. Fantastic at recognizing when his teammates are wide open. Here's Van Vliet. Passes it to Leonard. Yep, it counts. Leonard's got the lead. Back up to two now for Toronto. And he's got the athleticism and strength to be a powerful presence inside. Leonard never afraid to get in and mix it up down low. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. It's the Raptors. They lead by a bucket. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks so much. Kawhi, you seem to be so at ease out there. How much is that helping your game? Yeah, it's helping me out a lot. Uh, just coming in the game relaxed, just with more intensity. I mean, my team might start getting me involved on the offensive end. I'm playing great on defense. We just got to keep it up second half and not let it up. Hey, Kawhi, thank you very much for your time. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hi again, everyone. I'm Ernie Johnson, sitting alongside. The first quarter for the Raptors was fairly even. Their largest deficit of the period was just four points. They were right there within shouting distance the entire time. They had a slight edge on the scoreboard in the second quarter, but only by the slimmest of margins. And taking a look at the Raptors, Kenny, what did you see out there? Well, it's always a little bit of a challenge playing on the road, but they came in mentally prepared and physically prepared. The energy in the arena was fierce, but they didn't cave in. Shaq, what was your takeaway on the Lakers? Well, a lot of their points came in transition. They dictated the pace of the game. It was a fast pace. Put the defense back on its heels. I say keep attacking the second half. Do not slow down. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call.
And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. You have to like what we're seeing so far from Kawhi Leonard. Oh, well, they've done a good job of letting the game come to them and really few four shots here so far. Terrific first half on offense. This is how you draw it up. We'll see if they can maintain that efficiency going forward. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. So the Lakers five right now. LeBron and Kuzma make up the forwards. Ingram is out there with ball, and it's McGee in at the center position. Oh, you got to be cautious around James. He's always on the hunt to swat away shots. Defense in your rear view may be closer than they appear. Now here's James. Six points for him. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Uh, well, I only got one, one thing to say. I mean, Hate LeBron, keep hate. I mean, didn't he accomplish everything he wanted to in Cleveland? He brought them their first chip in 50 years, took them to multiple uh, uh, finals. Uh, I think it felt that he could make the switch uh, to the Lakers uh, with a good conscience. I mean, it's hard to argue that he didn't give Cleveland everything he had at this time. I mean, it was just time to move on. And he knocks down the first one. And for LeBron, this decision to come to L.A. was less about C. Webb, his legacy, and more about his life. I mean, he wanted a new challenge. Right? Let's think about it. He gets to play in the West for the first time. That's a different style of play. I mean, it's the biggest market he's ever been in. Uh, he can take advantage uh, of life off the court uh, for once. I mean, he's close to his son who plays in high school in L.A. Uh, you know he's a family man. Uh, and the Lakers had a lot to offer LeBron beyond basketball. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Ball against Lowry. James outside. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Banked in off the glass. McGee's got six points. Important points there. Got him on a nice play. Getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. Outside Lowry. Pass to Leonard. Unloads from 13. Another miss by Leonard. Well, he's having a tough go at it so far this quarter. Not much dropping for him. And Kuzma slams it in. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. And that was an Unleashed Chaos moment indeed. What a spectacular play. Sponsored by Under Armour Hover Hammond. Defensively, this is what you know. He's coming off a hot game and looking to keep it rolling. Yeah, but here's the problem. They play team ball. So if you pay him too much attention, that just leaves other guys open and it's too difficult of an adjustment to make. Now Lowry after the bronze three-pointer that didn't go. That's too much space to give him out there on the perimeter. They got to close out on him. Twenty-six seconds left in the third. Ball up top. Now recovering. Shot from the top of the key. That one's good, and the Raptor lead is cut to just one point on the basket from Ball. Yeah, and Ball doesn't let panic set in. Yeah, you can see that he plays by a different clock. Even though the shot clock's winding down, he knows how to bail his guys out. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Raptors lead by one. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter underway. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And how about the big fella here showing us? He's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. This is where the NBA's headed. I mean, multi-dimensional big man. That was just a beautiful pass. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. Setting the floor for the Raptors. Ananobi out there with C.J. Miles. Then there's Norman Powell, and it's Ibaka, and it's Lowry in at the point guard position. The 
the Lakers trail. And here is LeBron. And there's the pass to Kuzma. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Free throw good, Kuzma. And for being the 27th pick in the 2017 draft, uh, Kuzma has made his mark early, already surpassed expectations. Now here's Powell. Right side, Lowry. Down to five on the shot clock. And here's Miles outside. Connects from three-point range. And the Raptors lead by one. Just a hard-fought battle. And neither team able to create any distance. Well, credit the competitiveness. Neither team wanting to give up an inch. Man, this thing is just going back and forth tonight. Each team is stepping up, rising to the challenge. Yet another new challenge. Now here's Paul. Pass to Miles. And Lowry has it in the corner. Shot from the wing. Misses off the left eye. The Lakers shooting 71%. All in all in this one, they've been brilliant offensively. LeBron against Mike. Let's it go with the three. Offensive rebound over Ibaka. Here's McGee. Pass to Kuzma. Dishes it to James. And it's good. The time running down in the shot clock. Oh, I love how James takes hold of these possessions. When his team needs a basket, he steps up to the plate. Toronto calls timeout. They trail by three. 106 left in the game. A chance now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, LeBron James. Sensational game for him in terms of shooting efficiency. He's taken nothing but high percentage shots. That's how he's managed to hit over 60% from the field. I mean, making just about everything he's looked at. The Raptors making a switch here. Valanciunas is checked in for a buck. Pascal Siakam comes in for OG Ananobi. Leonard, he's checked in for C.J. Myers. And it's Green in for Pop. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Alden. Hi, guys. During that last break, I heard what the Raptors coach told to his team. He said, we've got to pick it up right here, right now. If we're going to win this game, we have to take control. This is the time. Kevin. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. And the Raptors call time here. They're trailing by one. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Twenty-seven seconds left to play here in the fourth. Here's Leonard. Count it. <laughs> that is cold blooded. Well, we want people to tune in, don't we? <laughs> this is what they're tuning in to. Big moments. Timeout called the Lakers. They're down by one. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth. And Kuzma has it in the corner. Ingram outside. It's stolen by Green. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. And so they foul intentionally. He drops the first one, and that will put them up by two. And I like how scrappy and aggressive Lowry is on the court. And it's easy to see how much his teammates enjoy playing alongside him. And it's going to come down to a three-point attempt. I mean, what a huge moment to come through at the line. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're behind by three. 11 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. 11 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. 
you have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. So the first one drops, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And one thing you can say about Green, I don't know of too many players who are as dependent on their three-point shot as he is. He needs that shot to be falling for him to make an impact. He's stepping to the line knowing he has a chance to seal the deal. He does. Embracing the spotlight. Give Ball the opportunity to shine, and he'll welcome it with open arms. first and that makes it a three-point lead so he gets them both and it's a four-point ball game and, and taking a technical there is the last thing you want to do the opposite of smart basketball winning this one. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for him, Greg. They really had to work for this win. Uh, that's a good point. I mean, weaker teams might have buckled at the end with the crowd amped up, everyone in the building kind of rooting against you, but they stood tall and, and pulled it out. Well said. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Kyle, congrats on the win. What did you guys want to accomplish and get this win? Uh, everybody played. Uh, we all played together. You know, uh, we, we stayed, you know, aggressive and stayed, stayed the course of the game. Thanks again, Kyle. Congrats on the win. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Thank you. And that about wraps it up for Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Alt. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone.